I'm Myri Stralahi. And I'm Brandon Harris. And we're here to bring you the news you need to know. Want to know. And should know to get you through your week. The Springs All Sports Meeting will be on Wednesday, January 31st at 5.30 p.m. in the PHS Commons. We have a message from our athletic spectators from the Captain's Council. Remember, sporting events are meant to be enjoyable and positive. Please refrain from using unsportsmanlike conduct, including profanity and rude chants aimed at the opposing team. As one of the best leagues in the state, the SPSL should honor the game. Now over to Chris Sieg with info on CTE dual enrollment. Hey Vikes, my name is Chris Sig. I'm the new Assistant CTE Director for Puyallup School District. It is awesome being here in Puyallup. Uh, came from another district to help create a comprehensive work-based learning program, and that's what I'm doing here. And it's, it's even better being here in Vike country at Puyallup High School. I really love this high school. I love working with you guys, and I look forward to doing a lot more work with you. So in building out a comprehensive work-based learning program, Questions are asked, what is a work-based learning program? Well, what we look at work-based learning, it can mean a lot of things. It's an umbrella that constitutes all sorts of different opportunities for students to get out into the real world and have the world come into the classroom through internships, uh, going to field trips to see local businesses, uh, to do career research, to have virtual or class visits from industry professionals, um, and certification programs, so there's all different kinds of work-based learning opportunities that we're looking to develop here. Uh, right now we have uh, available to students is our worksite learning program, so students who have jobs outside of school are able to earn credits towards graduation and improve their GPA, and it also counts as a graduation pathway. So if you have a job, what we we're going to do is post a QR code that you're going to be able to scan and go right to a form, fill out some information, and you'll be on your way. And so I'm looking forward to uh, working here at Puyallup High School, getting to know the staff, getting to know the students, and creating all sorts of opportunities for all students here at Puyallup High School. Now over to the sidelines with Maddie Weaver and Jackson Hargis. I'm Maddie Weaver. And I'm Jackson Hargis. And, and welcome, welcome back to the sidelines. Boys basketball blew the South Kitsap Wolves out of the water with a final score of 62-38. to 38. Also, congrats to senior Isaiah Sontag for reaching 1,000 career points. Girls basketball had two big wins over the last couple of weeks. On senior night, Lady Vikes took down Curtis with a final score of 52-8 to 8 and defeated the South Kitsap Wolves 43-41. to 41. Now, time for some trivia. During his reign as head coach, how many total wins did Pete Carroll get with the Seattle Seahawks? A, 115. B, 127. C, 137. Or D, 200. Have your teacher pause the video for 10 seconds to guess your answer. Got it? The answer is C, 137. Congrats to those who got it right. Thanks for tuning in to this week's segment of The Sidelines. And as always, way to go, Vikes. Teachers of Tomorrow is a year-long course for juniors and seniors who believe they want to become a teacher or work with children. The course includes an internship in a classroom. Here are some current teachers who completed the class and some students to give you their ideas. I took the teaching class uh, when I was a senior in high school. I had known since I was a sophomore that I, I loved coaching sports and I knew that teaching was a part of that. Um, and I heard about the teaching class at the time and knew I had to take it. Um, and it was a great introduction to all things education. Uh, what brought me to be a dual language teacher in the Pilp School District would be um, I actually moved here when I was six years old from Mexico, so I arrived here not knowing any English. I want to do that for somebody. Like I want to, I want to help kids who were like me, and so that was from that moment. I was like, I want, I want to be them. <laughs> so yeah. Something that I've learned in the class is how to make lesson plans and also include like every student, whether diverse or anything, they're all treated equal. And I've had a lot of teachers throughout. Uh, my schooling career that have had a really positive impact on me and that's how I want to impact my students when I'm older. Indeed. Um, I feel like it makes me have a different perspective on what it's like to be in the classroom and also a different perspective on 
what teaching is. That's all for this week's episode of VNN. Thanks for watching and remember to stay, stay purple, purple Vikes. Vikes. Now over to the sidelines with Jackson Weaver. Jackson Weaver <laughs> and Maddie Arcus. Sorry. Please help me. Please. How about if we do that? Thanks, Mom. Don't call me that. <laughs> Example A. Ugh. I'm not singing this song right now. I'm not doing it. I don't mind if the world spins faster, faster, faster. Just let me take you to a better place. Wow, we're good at this. Hey, sing along. I'm so excited.